afternoon, YouTubers. Turn left. On a dull but mild Monday afternoon. I'm just off now out to Stourhead National Trust. Hopefully I've left early enough to catch some of the old animal colours they got out there with all the different trees and bushes they got there. I was going to do it yesterday but circumstances prevented me and it was a much brighter day. Bit dull but dry, relatively mild. But I have just found out now that some of the gardens are currently shut getting it prepared for their Christmas light show that they put on every year. So I'll go out and see what's a, what's what. I'm also hoping I might be able to get the drone up and get some footage. Just gotta be careful if I do that one because you're not technically allowed to take off from National Trust property. You can fly over it, they say you can't, but you can. But Turn left. I'm just gonna have to go careful where I do take off from for that. saying just under an hour which is I think is about right and say about an hour there and then going back I might go via Cheddar if I do I got summit planned but I won't say nothing about that until I get there if I do it but let's enjoy the ride out there. A lot of it's going to be boring 303 dual carriageway, so we'll just see what happens. It's just nice to be out on the bike. Well, I don't think my earplugs are in properly. I can tell by the volume from me sat now for starters. I might have to pull over and adjust them. I'm getting quite a bit of wind noise, unfortunately, in my ears, which isn't no good. Pull over in Western Island and see if I can adjust them. It's going to be a pain in the butt, but I need to get them in better. Yeah, too much wind noise in my ears. I'm not used to that with these earplugs. So they're definitely not in. So it says I've got a fair bit of fast road to come with dual carriageway. And I hope this is coming out as well. I've been having problems again with the mic on this one. But I think some of that was user error. It's nothing to do with the camera. But I've got a new toy arriving tomorrow. I've ordered the 10. GoPro Hero 10. So once I know that's all working correctly, that's going to be my new camera choice on me lid. In me A to be going on the bike where at the moment I've got the drift. Unless I'm in a group ride, then I'll still use the drift pointing towards me. In the eight to be me rear facing camera on the top box because it's got better, better video stabilization. The drift hasn't got any, so it does tend to bounce about a bit. Hopefully the Hero will cancel some of that out, if not all of it. I've got multiple choices for that, depending on what sort of ride I'm on. But with me 360 as well, at times I could possibly be having four cameras running in the right circumstances. Well, over in a minute do this lid before I get out back out of the village into the faster road spot just up here just outside I can stop it's going to be a pain but unfortunately it's got to be done it's got to stop there but it is a bit rough isn't it twat what did he gain? 
I think I know where I'll stop now. He's driving like a right idiot. You do not overtake at a junction. What if this bloke had have been turning right? This is where it sat now can get you confused. If you don't know where you're going, which I do, you would have gone left here, but it's not his right and then left. Hmm, rather busy along here today. Wasn't expecting this. Right, just a quick comfort stop and adjusted my earplugs. They're definitely in better now because the volume's a lot louder from the sat nav than what it was. A lot, lot louder. Right, let's get back on track. Oh, it's telling me to go this way, so that's the way I'll go. Could go back out that way, mind you, but... I think this is probably going to take me through Hewish where the route I would have gone I would have avoided that if I'd stuck to the main road uh, let's see what happens and hope this is coming out all right I just realized I could turn the GoPro on with voice with the eyes are open and sometimes if my mic's not connected properly it still work but I think it's okay just take a chance on it it'll be what it'll be put me up by much yeah going through if you wish still taking me to where I want to go but not the route I would have took past Ellie's thank for bike night Headquarters. But they're shut at the moment because of changing hands. I think the daughter is taken over from the former landlady who's retired. Well, I know me right ear plugs definitely improperly. I'm not certain about the left one, but I think it's all right. through Pibsbury see the route I was taking I would have avoided this bit at the 372 I think it is a better route a long time since I've come this way so I've forgotten exactly what the road's like which is good it gives me practice on roads I'm not used to doing Six miles on here now. Be about just under ten minutes with the speed limits you got along it because it's not all national. A lot of crud on the road, so I'll have to watch that. It's mainly dry, so it shouldn't cause too many problems. more more of them springing up in these places it puts the signs that's what tells you the speed you're doing Garavupis Crest Somerset so I take sometimes coming back from the 303 brings you out where that turn and on the right was then through long load I do sometimes use that route But today, if I think I've got time, I'm going via Cheddar. That's where I would have come out if I'd done the route I normally do. Looks a bit misty out here still. Nice, enjoyable ride so far on this set. Up to the 303 in a minute, and that's when it's going to get boring. 
least the cars in front aren't too slow. Coming up the puddy more. I always take it careful here. I was going to say I take it steady here because this is one area where it's known to have a lot of accidents. This junction, this roundabout. Don't know why they do, but you do for some reason. Well, mate, if you're going left, you can get through there. Fuck's sake. Thank you. Get past these. Well, I can't. Do 70 while I can. Right, on the 303 now for quite a bit. At least where I'm going, the most of it is, well, 50 now to the next roundabout where it goes to dual carriageway and it's national then until I come off. Let me, Hero 10 is due for delivery tomorrow. I've ordered a medium on as well, but I haven't had confirmation yet whether that's been sent out with the camera or whether it's going to be separate. Because if it's separate, then I won't be using the camera on my lid until that gets here. Started the preliminary work to duel this. It's all going to become dual carriageway eventually. Don't know whether that camera is still active, I don't think it is. But Open won't want to take a chance. Rather dull and grey and misty out here. Saying 12 degrees, but it doesn't feel that mild. And that is warm for the time of year. A tear diner. At least the weather's a bit better than last time I was out this way. Right, got to blip a longer section of dual carriageway now. Yeah, 13 miles on here. Hopefully next year we'll be able to get back to doing that each month. Payne's Museum bike meet. Lock off me cruise control, that's what it's for when you're on roads like this and you've got a long run ahead of you. If I remember rightly, there's a proper motorcycle parking space out here and I don't think I even need to get a ticket for it. You know, as I'm a member, I don't have to pay, but it's going to save me faffing about getting one. Long time since I've been out this way. Blue skies, lovely blue skies. This is my exit. But if I go via Cheddar, I might even end up going that way via Froome. Now I might very well be turning left when I come out today because I'll be a through and get me to where I want to go. I'll put it in the sat nav anyway. Then it's follow the signposts up here. Right, I'm here. Hello, Mr. Postman. Right, find the parking. I know there's a proper motorcycle park here somewhere. Hmm, looks quite busy. Wasn't expecting it to be this busy, but there we go. 
Here's the motorcycle one up in the corner. They're quite busy. Oh. See, I don't think you've got to bother getting a ticket if you're parked in here. If I remember right, mate. Right, I'm here, folks. I'll speak to you later.